Hi, I'm Tanya Hill. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to learn about the drawing fluid and screen filler method of screen printing. This is probably the most creative part. This is where you can do your own artwork if you wish. You can draw directly onto the screen. You can, um, or you could just do something that you find that you like on the uh, internet and make a uh, copy of it and so forth. And then you're basically just going to tape it to the bottom of the, the inside of the screen. Now that inside of the screen is where you normally would, uh, where you screen print it. But if you draw, when you do the drawing fluid, if, if you want, if you draw it on the back side. And the reason you do that is because it has the frame to keep it set up off of the, off of the table because the drawing fluid will just go right through it. So what we're going to do is I have two different ways to show you here. First thing you can do is you can always just trace what you want and draw it with a pencil right on the screen like I have the lady frog here. Or you can just keep it on the screen the way you have it and then just paint directly with the drawing fluid. Now the drawing fluid is kind of sticky. It's very bright blue. It, this is, comes from Speedball. It's the, probably the um, only drawing fluid I know on the market, but I'm sure there are others. And what you're going to do is you're actually just going to, like coloring book, you're just going to color. Now what you want to do is wherever you want the screen, your image to show, whatever you want to print, you have to paint in with the blue. You have to totally color it. Even if it's just the face or the leg or whatever, you know, I mean, whatever you want to show up in your image, if you want, um, if you want fingers to show up, you've got to cover it with the drawing fluid. So basically all you're doing is to just continue to lay it down. Now you have to lay it down so that, they, that it's covered pretty well. You do not want a very light, very, very light blue. You've got to get it covered pretty well. That way it will make your image just great. This is so much fun because you don't have to use the uh, light bulb to burn the screen. You can be completely ready to print in about 30 minutes. It takes about all 10, 15 minutes according to where you live and how the weather is as to whether you can, um, how for it to get dry. But it's really kind of fun. So basically I'm just showing you how you put this on here. And then I want to show you a couple different things about it. Now, screen, uh, drawing fluid is really easy to, to paint with, as you can see, and basically all you're doing is just color book, coloring in, all right, your image. Now, I'm leaving some of it because I want it to come out dark there. This, uh, this will be my image, and everything else will be kind of blacked out. So I will just go around the areas that I want it to print. I want to show up and just paint them in. Want, you want to outline the body here of this little froggy. And that's basically what you want to do. Then if you have any light spots, you just want to go back and make sure you go over them. Now if you get a big blob, this sometimes comes out in blobs. Let me show you. Like that. You don't have to worry about it. If it's where you want it, don't worry about it. It can stay that way. It doesn't have to be smooth like paint. It can just be there. As long as it's there, and it's in the shape or whatever, your picture, that's fine. Now, if you make a mistake, which I have one down here just to show you, the nicest part about this is that, let's say I did this and I didn't like it. Well, I could just simply take it to the sink and wash it out, and I'd have a brand new screen to start over with. That's the nice part about drawing fluid at this point. The other thing is, is if you make a mistake, you can simply take a paper towel, wet it, put it around your finger, and you can come down here, and you can just wet this. I have to wet it just a little bit more. And you can actually pick it up and make it disappear and take it right out. Now, if you have a mistake or if you have something out of your picture that you don't want and you've put some of this on there, remember you have to get it out of there because when you get, do the next part of this method, if you leave it, it's going to be part of your picture permanently. All right, there it's gone. Very easy to do. You can also do it with uh, paint brushes. For instance, if I made a mistake down here, I'll just put another little blob so you can see. Okay, and I didn't want that there. I could simply take a clean paintbrush, wet it, 
And it doesn't matter how long this is set. If it was totally dry, doesn't matter. It'd still come off, okay? And I would just wet it with a clean brush. Just wet it so it looks really wet. Just like that. Keep dropping water on it. Just like that. So it looks good and wet. Go back to my favorite little paper towel thing. Wrap it around my finger. Blob it and pick it up. Now, you just turn your paper towel so you got clean paper towel when you're picking up. And you just keep picking it up. And it'll go away. There you are. So we do just a little bit more of that. So we can get it all the way off our screen. There you are. Just like that. So, now on this other one over here, what I have done is I had traced the little girl. I put this really down in the jar, didn't I? But that's okay. It doesn't matter. Screen printing's fun. If you get messy, you always wear an apron, please, because you do get messy. But this stuff washes out, so you don't even have to worry. So I traced. Now I'm following my tracing. And I don't need it underneath. I don't need the picture underneath anymore. And I'm just tracing what I see here. This is a leg. It's coming down this way. And you can be really nice. You can go back and you can be very detailed with it. You can just go back in with a very small paintbrush and be as detailed as you want as long as you have the nice dark blue color like this. Because if you have a very light, very light is not going to show up at all. It's not going to print. Okay? So basically, that's what you do. You just keep on doing that until you get it where you want it. You get the drawing just exactly the way you want it. Little bow over here. She's got a little streamer on her bow. And you just have fun with it and you just keep going. So that's what all you're going to do with the drawing fluid is you're just going to paint with it just like it was a um, any other type of painting. And But you can do it with any of your own work. You don't even have to have a picture under there. You could just do it. Nice. Another nice thing about drawing fluid is if you want to sign your work, you can, you can use this to sign it with. Um, one thing with screen printing is that whatever you're doing, you want to do it so that it's facing you. For instance, if you're screen printing words, you want the words to be able, you want to be able to read them when you're screen printing. And remember, you're going to screen print on the inside, not the back side of the screen. So actually, these little guys are going to be laying in reverse when I turn it over. Now I'm taking my image off and I'll show you. And this is the way that it would actually print if I finished it. Now these blobs are okay. Leave them. They dry. Now this dries in about 15 minutes and it needs to dry so that it's um, not sticky to your fingers in any place. If it's just a little bit sticky, leave it a little bit longer. And the nice thing about it is because we painted it on the back, you can set it anywhere. I usually set it under a piece of um, newspaper because in case it drips through. But you can set it anywhere and just let it dry. Thank you for joining me. This is part one of the Drawing Fluid Screen Filler Method. Stay tuned for part two. Thank you.